The thing you want to be working on with your pros in conjunction with this is you generally want to be more concrete and you want to be more immediate and you want to be more precise. All right. This one means fewer words. This one means the right words. All right. This one means uh, using words that evoke a sense and words that um that have a uh, concrete impact. I can't use concrete in the description of concrete, though. Um, tangible. Tangible. There you go. Excellent. This tangible. This one means active rather than passive. OK? This one um, means that um, you are um, Cutting out the fluff. So, these are generally considered by most writers to be the hallmarks of strong prose, um, particularly in the type of prose we're doing. Now, there is something else over here, Nebulous, which is beauty. <laughs> um, aesthetic, yeah. Um, this, is, this is the sort of thing that uh, taking a class from one of the poets on campus can talk to you about better than I can. Um, we do want to have beautiful language. We do want to have good prose. Um, I subscribe to more of an or Orwellian theory for my own writing. Um, George Orwell said that he wanted his writing to be like a window pane through which you saw the story and the ideas. The prose if it was too cluttered, would be like a dirty window pane. And if the prose was too flowery and beautiful, he felt that you would end up looking at it instead of the story. And some books are about the flowery prose. Um, there are some stories where the prose is like a stained glass window. And you can see stuff on the other side, but it doesn't matter as much as the stained glass window itself. Um, I feel that there are a lot of, um, of writers that are doing that, and that's perfectly reasonable, and it's all right. Even in science fiction fantasy, there's some writers that do this, and they do a good job. Um, I have heard Dave um, Farland talk about the idea of uber prose, which is a combination of these two concepts, that when you sit, stop and look at it, you realize that it's beautiful, but if you're not, you're just getting the story. Um, he usually uses Tolkien as an example of someone who is capable of doing this. Um, and I would say that that does work. I, I find that Pat... Uh, Rothfuss, one of his um, good things is he's really good at this, but I don't find myself distracted by it very often. Um, and some people have a natural talent for this. Other people, like Pat, just spend hours and hours and hours on a single sentence trying to get it right. Um, you'll have to decide where you want to be on this. But even in this type of prose, generally, these are the things that are, that are kind of pushing you toward this. All right? You had a question. So I was thinking. Mm -hmm. as a character. A lot of what uh, is written, I think, is uh, forgiven or just read through because it's the character. It is the character. He gets away with having a, a, a poet, basically, as a main character who wants to describe things like this. And he hates poets. But but he hates poets, <laughs> but, you know, he is a poet. That's the, that's the irony of it, yeah. So how does that work with all this? How, what kind of, like, lines do you draw with the character and what they would say? Um, uh, do what the story demands. Pat is really good at this. He's probably the, one of the best ones writing. China's very good at it, too. Um, there are some other people who are very good at this. If you're capable of doing this, go for it. Um, if, if it's not, I mean, you know, I don't try for this very often. I want my stories to be window panes. Um, I will try a paragraph here and there to do something more beautiful. I like to have cool metaphors. Um, some of these things um, that, that work really well. But my focus is almost always on the character and making things clear. Um, and it's one of the big differences between my writing and Pat's writing. So, depends on what you guys want to do. So, 
<clears throat> concrete language. Try and make things more concrete. And what I wish I could do is pull out one of your writings and put it up on the screen um, and go through it with the class and show you what I mean by this. Um, but I don't think I want to do that and embarrass any of you uh, too much. But that's the way to learn it. You want me to do it to you? Yeah, do that. All right, all right. Let's, let's pull <laughs> up. Let's, let's, let's do it. I don't know how much time we have. Um, we really need to be ending here. Um, do we want to do this for like a few minutes and see if I can do it? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's try and do this. <clears throat> 